should just about do it. All right. We are live. Welcome on in, everybody. This is Jeremy coming to you live here from the Hobby Legends Studios in the West Side. It is 9.30 a.m. here on the West Coast, so it should be 12.30 noontime out there for you on the East Coast. This is our Topps Heritage 2024 Half Case Team Break number 11. Mark Langdon, it is good to see you again, my friend. Uh, since this is a team break, I'm going to go over the team's checklist and the person that got that team. Starting us off from the top, we've got Anthony F. with the Diamondbacks, Matt C. with the Braves, Carson R. with the Orioles, Carl R. with the Red Sox, Joseph C. with the Cubs and Rockies. Uh, I think the White Sox is rich. Alex C. with the Reds, Rich G. with the Guardians, Chris R. with the Tigers, Mark L. with his Houston Astros, good luck, bud. Melanie M. with the Royals, Tony T. with the Angels, Sean G. with the Dodgers and Mets, Tom O. with the Marlins, Zona K. with the Brewers, Jacob W. with the Twins, Armando C. with the Yankees, Aaron J. with the A's, Brian B.S. with the Phillies and Rays, Jerry D. with the Pirates, Ryan J. with the Padres, Jason A. with the Giants, uh, Christopher E. with the Mariners, Jeff K. with the Cardinals, Michael O. with the Rangers, Gary C. with the Blue Jays, and Michael K. with the Nationals. All right, so let's get into it. I know you haven't joined us on Fanatics Live yet, man. We got Chrome Black today. At the end of the day, we got Chrome Black on starting us off a little 75 buyback action here for the Angels, Ed Figueroa. We're trying weird little formats. Uh, a pick your color break of Topps Chrome Black. Really cheap to where you can buy the color and you get all those parallels from the case. Uh, the autos, like there's a, there's a different type of checklist for every single thing. Sounds cool, and uh, it's pretty cheap for most spots. Ooh. Good Lord. Good God. <laughs> this pack is super. There we go. That one had the super glue action going. Well, that's why it is the hot box to start us off. Yay. I actually get to have some fun today. Is it upside down? No. Josiah Gray is going to be a low number. And our first purple is going to be a Slade Sassoni for the Diamondbacks. All the rookies will be sleeved and top-loaded. And all the base veteran purples will be sleeved. Oh, there we go, Texas. There we go, Texas. Make sure there's no uh, shorty prints. Nice Evan Carter there for the Rangers on the purple refractor. That's who we want to see to start off. That's a guy we have not had a single thing for in any of the breaks. So hopefully we can reverse that fortune today. George Kirby on the purple. Leody Tavares is not a low number short print. Now, this guy, boy, did he suck yesterday for the Angels. Max Fried on the purple. Cruising 3 to 1 the entire game. He comes in in the ninth and blows the game. Yay! It's great to be a Halo fan. <laughs> we are going to get memed in this box, though. William Contreras for the Brewers getting the first hit. That's going out to Zona on the William Contreras mem card. And I think John Gray, no, no, not John Gray. Corey Seager, also on the purple for the Texas Rangers. Let's see some Houston Astro magic for you, Mark. Corbin Carroll on the next purple.
Andrew Bellotti is going to be a low number. Christian Encarnacion Strand on the Purple Refractor Rookie for the Reds. There's another good one right there. We'll take it. For the Diamondbacks, we've got a Cattell Marte, 53 out of 9.99 on the Chrome card. And also going to the Diamondbacks, a nice Jordan Lawler rookie on the purple. <laughs> yeah, all right. I'm starting to lose all my hair now. <laughs> yeah, what's up with Josh Hader, dude? Byron Buxton for the Twins on the next perp. He did that before, though. He struggled when he went over to uh, the Padres at first, too. That's going to be a low-numbered short print for the Yankees of John Carlos Stanton. A nice one, Soto. We'll go ahead and sleeve and top-load Soto, too, for you. I think those will hold some value in the future, being it's like his first chrome card in a Yankees outfit. Austin Riley for the Braves. Jesus Lazardo for the Marlins. <laughs> All right. Especially the Astros fans are like, dude, what what are you doing to us? Tommy Henry on the low number. Carlos Correa on the refractor. Joey Manessis is going to be a white border for the Nats. John Carlo again here this time on the purple refractor. The woes of the AL West, where everybody is a 500 team or worse. Seems to be uh, what's going on. Henry Davis, nice rookie there for the Buckos on the Purple Refractor. All right, we're getting back to some rookies. That's who we want to see. Tom Cosgrove is a low number. And Sal Freelick for the Brew Crew to go along with that uh, mem of Wilson Contreras. He started out to be pretty, pretty strong. Oh, there we go. Cincinnati with the Ellie. So we hit Evan Carter and Ellie De La Cruz. So two of the three top rookies on the Purples. We will absolutely take that one. Plus the South Relic, Henry Davis. We did pretty good on the Purple Refractors. Wow, another good one. This hot box was pretty hot. Colton Kowser on the purple. Another guy that started. I was looking at the Orioles box score yesterday, and like everybody in their lineup, whoa, go ahead, focus. Come on, camera, you can do it. I got to mess with that. I don't know why it does that. not even on I don't understand I'm so confused right now <laughs> I don't understand <laughs> Westberg Kowser Gunner they all have like 14 15 RBIs four or five home runs I was like dear god what a silly silly lineup Kerry Carpenter on the low number Bryce Harper there for the Phillies on the purple what an absolute juggernaut of a lineup. Whiteboarder here of Ryder Ryan for the Mariners. And Jazz Chisholm on the purple. Jonah Heim for the Rangers on that purple. 
three more hot box refractors. Can we get J Dom and go three for three on the good rook, the top rooks? Cole Calhoun is a low number. And Nestor Cortez for the Yankees. That's another good rookie there. Curtis Mead for the Tampa Bay Rays. And our last pack from the hot box. Oh, another good rookie, though. We did not get Jade on, but we hit a lot of good rookies in this hot box. There's a nice Pete Crow Armstrong there for the Cubbies. So, all in all, that was a nice slew of the better named rookies, too. We'll take it. Nice little value there for all those teams. Bob Gibson for the Cardinals on the box topper. Chris Stratton is a low number. There's our first variation. It's going to the Cardinals on the Dylan Carlson black and white. Hit, nice hit going out there to Jeff with the cards. Brandon Drury on a low number. Oh, a piece of some of these non-PSA 10 card right there. Can you, can you grade a sliver? That's what I want to know. I want a sliver grade. Kyle Finnegan on the low number. White border of Brian Rocchio for the Guardians. Brendan Rogers is a low number. We got a chrome card coming up for the Braves. Ozzy Albies, five sixty five out of nine ninety nine going out to the Bravos. Let's make sure Mookie wasn't a short print. He is not. Felix Bautista on a low number. Jacob deGrom on the white border. We will get two of those in each box. We're sh we, we should get two of those in each box. There is no guarantees in card opening. 
Dun dun dun. Kyle Higashioka on the low number. Oh, Mark, I got some more. Uh, I stacked up some more uh, home run challenge cards for you. So uh, I'll bring them to work tomorrow and have them put them in with this package for you. Okay, bro. I have no use for them. the camera being goofy again. What is going on with that thing? Oh, it's because I put the bottle of water up there. Now. So it's trying to refocus on my face. Mahia on the low number. Now I understand. That's okay. We can be faded together. Yeah, very cool, man. Isaac Paredes on the low number. Yeah, we were gonna gonna do the same thing with them here at the shop. Just give them out to the kids. We are memed again, but it's a nice one here. MVP Ronald Acuna on the Bat Relic. Going out to the Braves. And that is it for box number two. Johnny Oates for the Braves on the 75 buyback from Hall and Oates. If you remember that 70s band, that's him, Johnny Oates. No, I'm totally messing around. That's that's not. That's he's not from Hall and Oates. <laughs> he's from Quaker Oats. Jake Cave is a low number. Okay, so that was you, Rich. Yeah, the White Sox, they are tough in this product, man. I don't think we've ever pulled a good card for the White Sox. But if you do get lucky and find that... Uh, Throwback uniform of Luis Robert, dude. It's under Debra, right? Under Debra, if I remember correctly. I know you like to use your maiden name, Ed Edward Julian, <laughs> on the low number. <laughs> Colorado is not you, so it's got to be the White Sox. I'm almost 100% sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got the White Sox in this one, Rich. Okay. You're going to just piss me off, camera. You're just going to absolutely piss me off. There we go. There we go. Now it'll stay focused in that one area. No matter how I move, it won't get blurry. Good job. There we go. I can figure it out. Look at me being smart. Kyle Freeland on a low number. Okay, you got Colorado with break 14. Gotcha. White border Yankee, Anthony Rizzo. Wrong Yankee on the white border. Where was J-Dom when we need him? Where was J-Dom when we need him?
Oh. Oh my god, we finally found a massive Soto card. No signature short print variation. These are pretty, pretty rare. Awesome hit there for the Yanks. I'll bet you that's a that's a pretty expensive card right now. <laughs> Sean Manai is a low number. Congratulations, Yankees, going out to Armando. Nice hit there, Armando, on the no signature variation. I think those are like one in every 600 packs, roughly. It's a mid-tier on how hard they are to find. So not your run-of-the-mill card there. Very nice. Yeah, I think that's the first anything we found on Soto, too. Besides like a purple refractor or a numbered card, so that's pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. He got eight characters in Marvel. Well, good luck on him. J.P. Crawford is a low number. That's Chris's a speciality. That's cold. He is the Marvel man. He's the Marvel man. Yeah. Oh, Magic Man. Sorry, wrong song. Zach Gallon is a low number. Oh. I don't know what it is about these cardboard products, man, but they just start making my nose itch and stuff. Chrome products, not so much. Paper products, who lord. We are memmed again, this time going to the Cubbies on the Dansby Swanson game used relic. So I took the hot box, but I guess I'm gonna give Chris all the autos. That works, he, he pulls better autos anyways. He pulled a dual, a dual auto to 10 yesterday. Of Jim Palmer and Grayson Rodriguez for the Orioles, dude. <laughs> I was like, oh my. Those are the, the definitely the unicorn hits of this product. Anthony Santander on the low number. Even that guy's got 14 or 15 RBIs for Baltimore this year. Like their entire lineup, everybody has like 10 RBIs. And I'm like, good luck. Whiteboard here of Freddie Freeman for the Dodgers on the 23 highlights low number short print. Nice hit there. Even I can dig some Freddie. Going out to the Padres, our next numbered card is going to be a Manny Machado 764 out of 999 on the Chrome. And there's a Chrysler. Chrysler revolutionizes the car market. I want that in a red refractor. Come on, Tops. Make those parallels. Make those parallels on the inserts. George Kirby is a low numbered short print. it for the third box all right can, can i find one auto or am i gonna am i becoming the mem king we're gonna get another 75 buyback of ben ogilvy oglive let's go with ogilvy i don't care if it's right or wrong i'm going with ogilvy I also like now that we put the overhead camera up there. It makes life a lot easier for me. I can put the cards anywhere and you guys can still see them, you see? It's beautiful. Beautiful. Come on, parallel, parallel. Ah. John Gray is going to be a low number.
short prints in there. Nick Pavetta on the low number. Gunner on the New Age Performers. I don't think there's a single rookie on the New Age Performers, and usually there always is. I'm surprised they didn't put, like, Jason Dominguez and Carter, you know, the big rookies on there. Mike Trout on a low-numbered short print. We'll go ahead and sleeve and top-load that bad boy for, for the Halos. I don't know if it still is, but it was a $20 card raw, so hopefully that's still the thing. Whiteboarder here for the Texas Rangers. Mark, Marcus Simeon on game four there. J.J. Bladé on the low number short print. New Age Performers of Adley. Jake Rogers on a low number. Yeah, I've had that happen plenty of times, too. When it's your day, it's your day. But, uh, yeah, not bad at all. Merrill Kelly is a low number. But half of the fun of being in a break is actually watching the break. You know, I, I always liked it as a source of entertainment. Oh, my God. We finally hit him. Let's go. Congrats, Texas Rangers. We found an Evan Carter auto. Michael, you had the Texas Rangers at the right time today. That is a banger right there. Nice Evan Carter real ones auto, man. What a case. It, it, yeah, it does exist. And Yavaldi is a low number. Evan Carter does exist. We found him for the first time on anything. We haven't found a short print of him, nothing. That was the first anything. So congratulations out to you. We finally found an Evan Carter, man. What are those going for? Like 150, 175 bucks or something probably. I like it. And that's an image variation, isn't it? Nice box here. Image variation of Julio. If I can get there. There we go. Seattle, nice hit there. That's going out to you, Chris, on the Julio image variation. Carson Kelly is going to be a low-numbered short print. I'll take a box like this all day long. <laughs> Give me an Evan Carter auto and a short, an image variation of Julio. You definitely did good in this box. That is for sure. Cole Calhoun is going to be a white border. 
for the Guardians. We will take it. Sorry, Chris. Oh, I got to pull. Had to get an auto. I had eventually. I had to pull a good auto because yesterday was brutal with all my heritage, man. Every six boxes, it was like mem, mem, mem. It was nothing. Andrew Bellotti on the low number. Today I'm back to pulling some good cards. That means I'll have to DJ in after work. Maybe open up a case of Topps Chrome Black. What do you think? Should I open up a whole case to myself? Oh boy. Should I just go absolutely brain dead and stupid and open up a whole case of Topps Chrome Black for myself? And then cry <laughs> after my best auto is like a, a, a third year. Uh, well, I don't know. Clarence Gaston for the Braves on the 75 buyback. If I open it up for you guys, I will pull absolute fire. If I open up my own case, I'm just going to cry afterwards and be like, what was I thinking? What have I done to my... I'll be like the, uh, what was that Tiger show where he's like, I will never financially recover from this. See, there's the regular Julio. Lane Thomas on the low number. Hmm, I'm shocked. That was in the little... That was in that second hole right there. Usually there's a, it's a hit when it's in that spot. But not that time. That is a hit though. Another image variation. This one's going out to the Boston Red Sox on the Masataka Yoshida. Nice one there for Boston and Carl. That's the fun part about this is finding all the image variations and the missing signature short prints and stuff. Low number here of Michael Lorenzen for the Phillies on his no-hitter. Black, hey, Rich. There we go. A nice little second-year black border here of Oscar Colos for you. That is not bad. Those come about two or three per case. So they are much shorter printed. We found you a little something something besides base cards. Stanton on the low number. And we're going to have a white border coming up in this pack. Nice rookie there of Nick Gonzalez for the Pirates. Yeah, that's see, and that's the thing with like the teams like the White the White Sox, the Nationals, the Rockies. If you just get one black bordered parallel of a rookie or something, like your spot is pretty much taken care of. You're not going to find thousand dollar cards. Fujinami on the low number. Yeah, and because it's the second year, if Colos turns out to be pretty good, then you know that second year card actually turns out to be valuable. Look at Bobby and Julio autographs. They still go for, or even Volpe. I sold, uh, I sold his real ones auto that I pulled out of here for 150 bucks. Well, his rookie real ones autos only sell for that. So I'm like, if I could get as much money for a second year auto of a guy that he sells for as a rookie, then I think I'm I, I won for once. 
Mackenzie Gore is a low number. But this year's do look way better than last year's. If I didn't already have a ton of Anthony Volpe stuff, I probably would have kept it and graded it. But I was like, look, Jer. I have a cornucopia of Anthony Volpe graded rookie cards of different shapes and sizes. Woohoo, what a case. Oh, please let that be a Reds. Nope, it's a Phillies. Phillies are getting a, a nice black refractor to 75 here. Can it be a Johan Rojas? No, it's a Bryson Stott, though. Nasty. 13 out of 75 there for the Phillies on the Bryson Stott Black Refractor. This was a really good start to a case. Phillies being BS. We got you something nice there, Brian. I know you're not watching. You're probably at work. You're a sucker like the rest of us that has to pay your bills. Kevin Newman on the low number. But at least you'll look at the recap. And see a nice black refractor of one of your boys. And we're going to get mend in this box, which is okay. Alex Bregman. There you go, Mark. A little Bregman uh, mem card there. We already had the hot box, Rich. It was the very first box before you jumped in. Harrison Bader's a low number, and it was it was really good. It had an Ellie rookie, an Evan Carter rookie, uh, Jordan Lawler, P. Crow Armstrong, Curtis Mead. It had a lot of the better rookies in it. There's a nice one for the Cardinals on the Jordan Walker white border. Juan Yepes on the low number. Mm. Yeah, it was definitely, uh, it was nice to hit the bigger rookies. The only one we didn't see was J-Dom out of the top three, so I was like, I'm, I'll still take two out of three. That's a win. One of these days, we are going to find that Luis Robert throwback your jersey. And those are really big cards. It doesn't matter what team or what player. All right, some last box magic, perhaps. But even if there's nothing fantastic in here, this was still a nice six boxes. The hot box, several image variations. The Juan Soto, no signature. For Baltimore, we got some Grant Jackson on the 75 buyback. Some Action Jackson. our numbered card right off the bat hey it's another numbered bryson stott working on the rainbow for you already got two of the parallels 104 out of 999 there for you bs two to your stott rainbow jonah heim on the low number that means you just have to make sure and get the phillies in every single one of our breaks now so you can try to get the rest of the rainbow Oh, that's in the two hole. Come on, come on. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Not one time have they been a short print of any kind when we get to that, except that one Ellie that we, we did pull. Luke Weaver is going to be a low number. got another black border oh no we don't but it is a Jordan Westberg 
I thought that was black, dear God. Good times. Good times. That's awesome, though. Congratulations, Toronto Blue Jays. Gary, on the nickname variation of Jose Barrios, La Maquina. These are super short printed. These are one in every, like, I don't know, what was it, 20 cases or something? Yeah, massive, not ma I mean, he's obviously not the biggest name on the checklist, but these are still super, super rare. So, Gary, very nice hit for the Blue Jays there, man. And that's the fun part of this product. Um, the only redemption so far that we have seen, Rich, is the dual auto of Grayson Rodriguez and Jim Palmer. So I'm assuming a lot of those dual and triple autos, those will probably be redemptions. But none of the... Uh, none of the, the big rookies, they're all live. Michael Soroka on the low number. Trout, those guys, they're all live in this product. So... I think the redemptions are just going to be uh, the really, really rare stuff. Nice rookie there for the Dodgers on the Emmett Sheehan white border. Yeah, little did you know, Gary, that taking the Toronto Blue Jays, which are another one of the uh, more cost-effective teams, <laughs> you're going to hit a super, super short printed card. Congrats on that one, man. That's only... The third one we've pulled out of all of the product that we've opened. That's how rare they are. Yasmani Grandal is a low number. And they sell really well. I sold an Andrew McCutcheon from last year for like 40 bucks raw. And all it said was Kutch at the bottom. And I was like, I'll take that. I'm not, I'm not a, that's another variation. So our last box coming in hot. That is a image variation there for the Guardians on Gavin Williams. There you go, Rick. Just lots of goodies. Lots of goodies. Yeah, everybody, just make sure if you buy any of this that you definitely check right here on top of the number on the back of the cards to make sure that you don't throw away any variations. And flip stocks are not labeled. But they are to five, but they look, they're pretty, pretty obvious when you get to the card. It feels, yeah, if it feels smooth on the back and it's rough on the top, on the front, you know you got a flip stock. Mickey Moniak on the low number. Oh, yeah, this is a fun one. I like opening boxes of this just to try to find all the short prints. Keeping me on my toes. Sonny Gray is a low number. He started out pretty good this year, too, for St. Louis. I don't even think he's given up a run yet, has he? Or, like, maybe one. Uh, we're going to get memmed in this last box. Going to Tampa Bay, though, on the Vidal Brujan. And as you can see, a lot of these got dinged up in the, the packing process. I noticed it with a lot of mine, too. So, And one more stack to go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's see, one more variation. Harold Ramirez is going to be a low number, short print. God, I, as bad as that game was last night, I'm sick of looking at Isoc Paredes and Harold Ramirez. White border here also going to Tampa Bay and this guy. Look at that. I just keep pulling Rays, and every time the Angels play them, we suck. And I got to keep looking at their faces. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Whoa. Damn you, Tampa Bay, and your pesky hitters that never give up. Just fold. 
<laughs> Just let the damn angels win, for God's sakes. <laughs> My dad was watching it with me, and we're like, what the hell, man? Can't we just get one guy to not give up a damn run? <laughs> and I was like, no. Carlos Santana on the low number. I'm like, that's the that's the conundrum of that which is the Angels. And our last pack. Do we have a little bit of magic left? I don't think we hit a number card in this pack, did we? In this box yet. Or maybe we didn't. I just right Oh, it was right off the bat, huh? And the Jaws card. Look at that. Who wants it? And that is going to round off this six boxer. But it was a good six boxer. That's for dang sure. We will take it. We done did it. We done did good. Thank you, sir. Our loan autograph was a massive one. Very nice here for the Texas Rangers on the Evan Carter Real Ones Inc. I'm very jealous of this card. Our mems, we got Bruhan, Bregman, Acuna, Swanson, and Contreras. Our numbered chromes, we got a black to 75 of Bryson Stott. And then straight to chrome to 999 of Machado, Albies, Marte, and Bryson Stott again. Our, we got five 75 buybacks. Grant Jackson, Clarence Gaston, Ben Ogilvy. Johnny Oates and Ed Figueroa. Our black and white parallels. We got the Oscar Kolos. And then the whites, Walker, Calhoun, Rosa Reina, Sheehan, Gonzalez. World Series card here for the Rangers. Freddie Freeman, Anthony Rizzo, Jacob DeGrom, and Brian Rocchio. Our variations. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, he's a, just a... Low numbered short print here of Trout. But we had at least one variation of some sort in every single box. The massively short printed nickname variation here for the Blue Jays and Gary on La Maquina. Juan Soto on a missing signature variation. Dylan Carlson on a black and white and image variations of Yoshida, Rodriguez, and Gavin Williams. And I like that they're not all image variations. You know what I mean? We got a little bit of everything in there. Our purple rookie refractors from our hot box. We got PCA, Curtis Mead, Colton Kowser, Ellie, Sal Freelich, Henry Davis, Jordan Lawler, CES, Evan Carter, Slade Sassoni, and the nice Juan Soto for in the Yankees uni on the first chrome card. And our lone box topper was a Bob Gibson for the St. Louis Cardinals. And that is going to wrap up this first six boxer. We will be back at 1045, so in about 25 minutes, uh, for the next, for team break number 12. So if you're in that, stay tuned. If not, have a great rest of your day, and we will see you next time. Until then, keep on ripping. Bye.